it's me, Nikki. Hello, welcome back to the Maybelline channel. And of course, today as well, I am joined by makeup goddess, Erin Parsons. <laughs> I don't look like myself. I am becoming a character today and we're doing She is ever-changing. She <laughs> is ever-changing. So today we're going back in time because we're exploring vintage makeup. I've decided to do 60s all just because of this wig. It's a little bit of a country <sighs> western 60s moment. Obviously we have our skin on, we have our brows on because otherwise this video would be like two hours long. So we didn't want to do that to everybody. So yeah, I'm going to start with much. my eyes, I guess. <laughs> okay, see. I'm going in with smoky gel liner in smoky gray and this is more of a taupe tone. So I'm just going to fill in that like banana, they call it sometimes. So like just the crease. You know that twiggy look where she just does the crease, the eyeliner, and then the lashes under. So that's what I'm going to play with, that sort of style. You call the crease banana? I think that's like an old way to say it. Wait, hold on. <laughs> that's actually what I'm going to do. I am taking the City Mini palette, and this one is in Coco City. And there's this like beautiful blushy pink, and that's going in the banana. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. You've never heard that before. That. I was thinking maybe I can start with a little bit of Maybelline history. Yes, <laughs> because oh my God, yes, I'm so excited. Ah, yeah. uh, it's really interesting, you know, I mean, Maybelline's been around actually since 1915 and they're thought to be the first mascara ever made. So ahead of its time. I know. <laughs> well, supposedly the owner, um, the, the sister Mabel had burned off her lashes through a cooking accident. Wait, wait, wait. Someone who started Maybelline was, her, their name was Mabel? So Mabel was the sister, the person who started Maybelline, it's his name was Lyle Williams. Um, this is so crazy, it was actually, it was him and his partner, they Stop. were gay men. Two gay men started Maybelline. Stop it! Yes, isn't that yes. interesting? <laughs> of course, <laughs> leave it to a gay man to want to make us all more See, beautiful, you know? See, this is why I feel so at home. Now I get it. <laughs> His niece had written a story after he, he um, passed away called the Maybelline story. So I read it, of course. And yeah, I was so shocked to find out so much about him. I mean, he had so much style and he was one of the first to like develop um, the way that they did the advertising. It, it's just, yeah, it's a really incredible story. Oh my, oh my God, Erin, you just changed my entire vision on Maybelline. <laughs> I know, isn't it wild? I'm going on so much that I forgot to mention. I'm using Tattoo Studio in bold brown, and I just put that onto my upper lash line. In the meantime, while we're all enjoying this journey, I am taking another City Mini palette. This one is in Downtown Sunrise, and it has this beautiful pinky duochrome gold shade. It is a party. Look at that. And that is on the lids. And now it is time for that drama mama because we're going in with a liner and I'm taking the hyper easy, this, this, this. If you have tried this, you know why I'm saying this, this. This is so pigmented. It goes on like with the slightest little touch to the skin. It's black, it's easy to use. You can actually make really fine tips with it, like the, the wing. I'm obsessed. Yeah, So I love this liner. It's really easy. It really actually is easy to use. So right? very, very um, thin points. Yeah, I'm gonna use it too. I'm using another Tattoo Studio pencil <laughs> in polished white to go inside um, the eye. And then I, yeah, this is really good. Look how pigmented that is, that's wild. I'm gonna go on the lid with a little bit of the white. So I won't make it so thick because I'm putting it on my hand. So it almost becomes like a pale concealer. I'm taking the Tattoo Studio Smoky in uh, Smoky Black, and I'm just gonna fill in that little hole here. Oh, so then you fill it in with the pencil. Yeah. So it's funny, so I do the opposite. I draw the entire thing with the pencil and then I layer on top of it with the liquid liner. Oh my gosh, that's cute. I love that we all have our techniques that, that just work for us. So I'm just gonna start to thicken these a little bit and then correct them with a pointed cotton bud to make them more like a little bit of a triangle. I'm just adding some of the polished white pencil in between the like drawn on eyelashes. And I'm just gonna continue doing that on the other side off camera. I just extended my inner corners and I feel like 
Ooh. It's not 50s at all, but I'm living my best life. <laughs> I'm taking the City Mini palette in Coco City and where I used the blushing pink for the crease for the lower lash and I'm making a mixture between this and this. Very soft, very hazy, nothing like sharp except for that liner. To know from the people who are watching what's your favorite era is it the 20s the 30s the 40s the mm -hmm. 50s the 60s the 70s the 80s the 90s yeah. or the 2000s mm -hmm. or today by the way i am applying um falsies lash lift this is the ultra black formula and i'm gonna do top and bottom and i mean i'm gonna be here for a while because i'm gonna put on a lot of coats of mascara should I draw on a, a beauty mark as well? Yes! Yes, you must do a beauty mark. Okay, now I'm going in with the Sky High Mascara in Waterproof. Sky High really is that girl of the class, you know? Mm -hmm. You know when you look mm -hmm. back at high school and you're like, that one girl that really made it, that's Sky High. Okay, my eyes are done. And when I look straight ahead, it just looks like a beautiful, like, fierce wing. But then when I look down, there's a little surprise. Ooh. Now it's time for a lot, a lot of blush. Really wanna go for a soft baby pink, so I'm taking this Fit Me one, and this one is in the color Pink Rose. We're gonna go underneath the eye, just like we learned on the series. Thank you, Erin, for changing my life. I'm taking another Fit Me blush in the color Wine. So since it's deeper, I just wanna work it into the sides here to give a little bit more structure, but still have those like rosy blushy tones going. Look, I'm sculpting using blush and it's absolutely okay. So since I already have on my blush, I'm gonna just do one more step on my eyes using the Nudes of New York palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade Artist. And I'm just gonna add this on my lid. I already put a little bit of the pencil, but I just wanna make it a little brighter. I'm kind of feeling this. So I pick up that shade, it's from the Downtown Sunrise palette. I just take a little bit, like teensy tiny, tiny, tiny. And I'm just gonna put the highlight where I would usually put it, but like matte. Right here. Okay, now it's time for the beauty mark. Hello. I'm using the Tattoo Studio Smoky in Smoky Gray. I'm just gonna do it in the most iconic part next to the yes. eye. Yes. Like We're twinning. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. Here? I, oh, I Here? I think so. That's gorgeous. All right, I think I'm ready for like the most iconic part of this look, which is lips. I will shut down the palette finally and move on to lips as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the ultimate in the color more scarlet. Mm -hmm. I am ready for this moment. This lipstick quality is so good, and, and this color is incredible. I, I've already worn this in the past, but I'm actually gonna do a matte ink today because I want a really pale pink matte look. So I have Dreamer, and I also have Loyalist. I'm, I'm just dying over here. <laughs> okay, keep going. <laughs> One swipe pigment on both of these, really. Okay. Let me start with Dreamer, because maybe I won't need too much of Loyalist. Oh, I already did put a little lip liner on to save time. Oh. Die. I look like I am a hybrid between Madonna and Elvis. And <laughs> <laughs> that's a gorgeous hybrid then. Dang, she looks I'm amazing. I'm the best of both worlds right now. Ah, feeling um, my fantasy. And Erin just looks like a modern day Dusty Springfield. sickening. Dusty Springfield. <laughs> Dusty Springfield and Twiggy yeah. had a baby. But this already is my favorite look that mm -hmm. we have done and it'll be hard to top this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video on the Maybelline channel. If you wanna see more from us, of course, subscribe. And when you subscribe, you get a little notification that tells you that we are back next week. And hopefully we will see you next week. Bye guys. Bye.